What is going on YouTube? Today we have a 2018 Mazda CX-3 Grand Touring all-wheel drive. Now this right here, it's a little four-cylinder vehicle. It's all-wheel drive, so that's <laughs> that's great. You really can't go wrong with that. And uh, this one right here is like the hatchback model. They do have the regular version of it as well. Got the dual exhaust down there. Very nice car. Got the aluminum and black rims on it. Disc brakes all the way around. This right here is a nice touch because it's not chrome. It's like a silverish color, so it don't really like reflect and shine. Gives it a nice touch to the vehicle though. Very nice vehicle. Looks, looks luxurious from the outside with that grill. See it shining right there. Very nice. Got the fog lights at the bottom down there. LED strip right there. Show y'all that in a second. Sunroof. LED indicator and light in and in a mirror right there. It does have the touch thing where you just hit it and it unlocks the doors and do all of that fancy stuff. Here's the key. Start it off for y'all real quick so we get this exhaust note. Very nice vehicle, real quiet. Pop the hood for y'all real quick. Uh, bear with me. All right. You got a four cylinder engine right here putting out 146 horsepower, I believe it is. I'm gonna check it in a second on a on a spec sheet to just make sure. But I believe it's 146 horsepower. Close that up. Turn on the headlights for y'all real quick. So you might not be able to see it, but that LED strip right there, and then it's got like a little halo right there underneath that light right there. Very nice. Very nice little gas saving car. And for it to be all wheel drive, it's really not that expensive as well either. Let me show y'all the, the sticker price real quick. So the sticker on this price, on this vehicle right here, the sticker price is $27,355 with the options. So that's really not bad because it's an all wheel drive as well. Yeah, so the horsepower on this one is 146 horsepower and 146 foot pounds of torque. So it's not that, that fast, but it will do what it's got, it gotta do. Um, 2.0 liter, like I said, it's four cylinder. It's all your options right there. 27 on, in a city, 32 on the highway, 29 combined. It's not bad at all. So on this door right here, you got soft touch. Well, this is plastic right here. Soft touch, like Alcantara suede right here. Very nice. Got the red accent right there, burgundy. It looks nice and stitched. Hard plastic down here where you, you know, scuff your shoe or whatever at. And you got the Bose speakers right here in the door. Typical door buttons right there. CX3 on a little scuff plate. 
and right here the seats are nice and bolstered up they got the red stitching in there as well it's more like a burgundy like uh, color then you got the nice suede right there as well with the leather dashboard and everything looks very nice very nice for the money sorry about the sirens in the background very nice back seat I'm gonna get in and turn this air conditioning down all right let me show y'all something so this right here is the heads up display but when you turn the car off it folds down when you start the car up it rises that's pretty cool too it's a nice little you know it makes you feel like you're in a spaceship or something it's different because normally they the normally the um heads up display is just right here and it reflects on the windshield but on here it actually does reflect let me see if i could capture it on the camera might not be able to because the steering wheel might be in the way. Let's see if we can lower that. Yeah, so you can see it right there. I'm going to zoom in on it for you. So, it's a nice little touch. It's different, for sure. And this car being 27000 you don't see too many cars like that coming with heads-up display at this price point. So, that's, that's a plus. It's definitely good. So, you got the analog you know for your speed right there your rpms not your speed but your rpms right there that's analog then right there you got a little cutout for your actual miles per hour which is digital along with your gear you know to show you which gear the car is in and your odometer 27 miles on the car it tells you if it's in park or drive and all of that good stuff turn the headlights back off and then your range how hot it is outside as you can see it's 97 degrees so it's, it's a hot one today <laughs> so right here on the steering wheel you got your typical voice control volume buttons different stuff that you could select the seat buttons change your audio phone buttons your cruise control all of that good stuff like that that you see in every other car SRS airbag logo on the bottom of the steering wheel right here paddle shifters as well so you can have it in that sport mode and paddle shift it and that's crazy that this car has all-wheel drive too so that, that's only a plus so as you know you got the Mazda infotainment system right here you got the uh, Apple CarPlay and all of that good stuff in there Android Auto very nice it's, it's simple to use that's why I like this this navigation system that Mazda has is not the navigation but the uh, infotainment system that's the navigation right there so it does have navigation as well I love this system because it's just so easy to use it's not overly exaggerated and trying to do things that it shouldn't be doing it's easy to use entertainment right there BAM that's your radio it's, it's everything is simple on it they kept it real simple got your air vents right here they feel very nice they don't feel cheap and flimsy hazard button air vent other air vent over there the dash is soft touch as well and that's soft touch but it's got like a it's plastic but right here it's soft touch it's real cushy too and then it's that burgundy stitch right here is soft touch it's hot too <laughs> like I said it's 97 degrees out there so it's, it's, it's cooking now you don't get dual climate control on here and you do get the regular analog like display nothing to see here too much do get heated seats indicator of your passengers airbag got the cd player down there if you want to put a disc in that's for the maps down there the little sd card usb's aux cord 12 volt charger right there Then you got your different, you know, gear selectors. Put it in manual and use those paddle shifters that's right there. And then right here you got the little lever for sport mode. 
So when you put it in sport, it lights up down there. Sport. So when you take it off sport, it goes away. And you do all of that through that little button, that little toggle switch right there. This is how you control your infotainment system right here, or you can just touch it. And go back home. It's, it's very responsive too. Or you can just use the little, the little knob right here. Volume control right here for your radio, turn it up and down. Back button, that star button is the favorite something. Go to the navigation just with a hit of a button. So that's pretty cool. Got your drink holders down here. Glove box, nice and spacious in there. And then you get Bose speakers too. So that's like, I, I know I showed it before, but that's pretty cool too. Cause normally you just get some, some type of speakers. You don't know what type of speakers they're gonna be, but you just get some type of speakers at this price point. But they actually gave you Bose speakers in here. So that's, that's pretty cool. Showed you the cup holders right there. This right here is not a storage thing or anything. I guess you can sit your phone in there if you want, if you trust it. I wouldn't trust it, but to each his own got a nice little black like carbon fiber print right here very nice burgundy stitching burgundy stitching with the burgundy leather right there as well that dashboard looks very nice very nice I, I gotta give miles to this one very nice car especially at this price point typical buttons right here to turn on interior lights you do get a sunroof on here Open that up real quick. Very nice. So you do got to hold the button in order for it to go back up. Close that up. Vanity mirror. You don't get the light, <laughs> but you get the vanity mirror. So let's go ahead and get in the back. If I haven't already showed y'all the key, this is the key for it. Very simple key. Unlock, lock, panic button very simple key kept it very easy to use as well uh, let's, um, I don't know what is it with me and back doors they never want to open same materials on this back door as it is on the front door got a drink holder right here as well CX3 on the mats Move that paper over. We don't know whose that is. Very nice back seats. We got the sensor in the seats as well. I'm gonna go ahead and get in it. Show you all the head room tests and the leg room. Okay, leg room is pushing it just a little bit, but I mean it's good. I I can go on a little drive. Head room is good as well. Now this seat right here, you don't get the pocket on the back of it, but this seat you do. So you get the pocket storage over there very nice vehicle simple clean dashboard design as well I'm gonna get out and show y'all the, the little hatch part and you do get a backup camera on here as well there's the backup camera. I'm going to show you all how that looks on the screen in a minute. So I, I was thinking this whole thing was going to open. I don't know why, but <laughs> it felt weird when I was opening it. Got the little cargo cover, your other mats. Those are the weather mats that's in there. These are your all year round mats, I guess. I don't know. Or vice versa. Got a, I guess you got a spare tire down here. Sorry if the camera's moving a lot and trying to navigate this. There you go right there, your spare tire and your Bose um, sound module. So let's put that back down. There we go, it's back down. Close the trunk up or the little hatch. Very nice vehicle. I'm 
gonna take another walk around the outside of it real quick just to show y'all how it look close that door up it's gonna be because i got the key in my hand very nice but i'm gonna go ahead and end this video i will see you guys in the next thank you for watching thank you for the continued support i appreciate everything and without y'all wouldn't be doing this but i just want to say thank you see you in the next